Hello and welcome to the new stable 1.12 Daisy patch. Uh, the patch should be going live the day that this video releases, and everybody and their mother has already released like a new features video, so I thought I'd focus on one of the more significant changes to the new patch, which is zombies or infected. Uh, damn it, Chez. So I thought I'd focus on one of the more significant changes to the new patch, zombies or infected. Zombies have become much tougher. You will no longer be able to one hit headshot zombies with a splitting axe like you could do in 1.11. You're gonna have to use a lot more finesse in order to fight these things. This guide is gonna help you learn to navigate the new zombies without getting your ass handed to you. I really went back and forth on whether or not I enjoyed the new zombies, and it wasn't until I started focusing on stealth that I really began to enjoy them. They definitely still need some work in some areas, and I'm gonna get to that, but zombies should be a threat, especially early on when your character doesn't have a lot of gear. If you focus on stealth to avoid detection and to make sneak attacks, zombies are gonna be much more manageable early on. You can perform a sneak attack by crouch walking up to a zombie's back and performing a light attack. No need to hold shift. This can be done with any bladed weapon, but it's not going to work with blunt weapons like sledgehammers, farming hoes, or baseball bats. I've noticed that the type of shoe you are wearing makes a big difference in how much noise you make while crouch walking. Hiking and military boots are much more noisy than sneakers, running shoes, or dress shoes. I've been wearing running shoes whenever I play 1.12, uh, just to remain quiet. The downside is that they do wear out a lot faster than boots, so you're gonna have to remember to repair them or swap them out for a new pair. Keep in mind that the surface you're walking on affects how much noise you're making. If a zombie notices you while you sneak up on it, you still have a short window to perform that sneak attack. You just gotta get behind them really quick and then swing or else you're gonna end up in a brawl. So what does actually change about zombies? Well, zombies are a lot tougher now, so it's going to take a lot more hits in order to take them out. It also takes a lot more to stun them. In 1.11, all you had to do was keep swinging and attacking in order to keep a zombie stunned and then they couldn't hit you. In 1.12, it's going to force you to strategically choose when to block, when to stun with a power attack, and then when to use a quick light attack. Melee combat with new zombies is all about choosing when to stun them and keeping your distance. You can't block those double-handed attacks, so your only defense is to stay out of their range. The more you practice, the more you'll be able to get a feel for when the double-hander is coming, but I do find that they only seem to do it when they're standing still, so the more you keep them moving, the less likely they will perform that attack. The attack pattern I like to follow is this. Let the zombie come to you, and then do a heavy attack to stun you. Take advantage of the stun with one light attack, always focusing on the head for maximum damage. Sometimes you might be able to sneak in two light attacks after the zombie is stunned, but you want to avoid getting stuck in these combos. When you're swinging like a madman and you're performing these combos, it's a lot harder for you to block and then back out to avoid being hit. You're a lot better off dipping in for one power and then one light attack, backing out to avoid being hit, and then moving back in to get the kill. Once you get the hang of it, you'll get a feel for when you've landed headshots and when it's worth pushing with a second light attack to finish the job before they can react. A few other quick tips. You can separate clusters of zombies by using VoIP to attract them and then lure one or two away at a time. Zombies are also attracted to thrown objects. Pretty much anything will do. This isn't foolproof though, because it does aggravate the zombies, which means they might detect you easier. It's something that might need a little bit of improvement. Zombies no longer attack unconscious players, giving you a fighting chance of escaping once you wake up. Additionally, zombies de-aggro much quicker, so if you're swarmed, you can lay down in a building and just wait until they lose interest. The last tip is what I fear most players are going to resort to, which is locking up zombies. I'm worried that on maps like Cherno or Livonia, that's all the players are going to do. It won't be as effective on Namalsk because there are a lot less buildings, but I do think this is going to be the main method that people use. 
There are a lot of things I hope that the devs add over the next year, but zombies breaking down doors would be a game changer in my opinion. Uh, it would remove this slightly exploitative way of dealing with zombies and would really make you think when firing from inside a building. Imagine thinking, is it worth attracting this horde of zombies that might eventually break down my door? Or do I have the ammo I need to fight my way out if it comes to that? I really hope that these are things that we're going to have to consider in the future. Last thing we're going to talk about are suppressors. Suppressed weapons are friggin' gold in 1.12. Unless you fire multiple shots in quick succession, zombies aren't going to be aggroed when you fire. Also, every bullet type is a one-hit kill with headshots, making the 22 caliber Amphibia pistol's built-in suppressor much more useful than it used to be. A lot of people have told me suppressed pistols sound nothing like this in real life. I don't know, I think it sounds pretty freaking cool. Zombies now aggro to the loudest sound instead of the nearest person, which is going to be really nice when some asshole shoots at you. Now the zombies are going to aggro to the shooter instead of the victim as it used to do sometimes. Since bullet impacts are now louder than the suppressed shots, you can use suppressed weapons to lure zombies wherever you want them. You can see here I'm shooting rocks and metal to lure zombies out of Mishkino tents, and it actually worked really well. You could also do this with an unsuppressed weapon, but it's going to be a lot riskier. Overall, I think that the changes made in 1.12 are huge improvements, and I hope that there's a lot more to come. While I think that Harder Zombies is a good thing overall, the devs do need to address things like pathing, hitboxes, and hopefully breaking down doors in the future. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think though, so feel free to put your thoughts or your own tips down in the comments section. Now this was a little bonus video for the 1.12 release, but I do try to put out a new video every Saturday at 10am Eastern. If you found this one helpful, please subscribe, check out my other guides and my adventure videos as well. If I can find the time, uh, hopefully I'll put together a regular video for this Saturday. If not, you can catch me on Twitch for live streams. Later, everybody.